uh, the production reasons, the pulse, um, to keep the spatter down. We, we're using it to build our tailgates. Um, so we don't want that spatter all over it that I got to try to get off to put stickers and reflective tape on. So we went with that pulse. Since we've used it, it's been been great. Um, the, the tip consumption over the last year has been minimal. I could count on one hand how many tips we put in that machine. The building of the tailgate, there's you'll range from 3 8 to 8 inch material. Um, we don't change the wire, we just change the settings a little bit, do various welds with it. I mean, the benefits to us in using 1 16th wire with different thicknesses, um, I don't have to shut down the machine, change wire out for various welds. I could be changing a machine 10 times a day um, and slowing the procedures down by having to switch to make a certain weld and then switch it back. Um, it just makes more sense to, to use the pulse to get the heat down a little bit when I need it. To weld on different thicknesses of material, we, we lower the amperage, lower the volts, um, and keep on going. Pulse welder, it has very little splatter. Very little splatter. Uh, How many tips you burned up? I, I, the tips, I don't burn tips. It, 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 it's, for some reason, it don't go through tips. So. And what is burning a tip? Do what happens? Uh, it's bad. You, you gotta stop, you gotta take your tip out. And sometimes you get balled up inside here. And it's a nightmare. You know, I like to just keep welding when I can. You don't want to have to stop. If you stop, then you get behind. Well, what happened was when this welder first came in here, I hated it. For some reason, I don't know why, I hated it. But after I got got it over here and got it hooked up, got it running, I fell in love with it. So it did me good ever for what, a year and a half? Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Great. Shall we be afraid to change? <laughs> yeah, it's nice.